I just liked that it was a love story between two dudes on a boat, and that's what really drew me to it, to the to the show. It's love I'm stories. a gay icon now. <laughs> We managed that we that that managed to find out that we. I don't know why I did that. That's a really <laughs> odd thing when I was talking about. We fell in love. That's not quite. It was a, that was Tell more a meeting of minds, <laughs> not a meeting of other stuff. Okay, that's not what I'm. I'm that's not the talking. Asgardian high one. It's, it's yeah. Asgardian high one. <laughs> <laughs> the Asgardian erect one. <laughs> um, all unusable. You yeah, haven't uh, haven't seen. Chris pinching stuff off the Thor set, have you? Just, you know, stealing Socks. hearts. Just, oh. <laughs> just yours. <laughs>to normalise it as well. It's part of everyday society. Exactly. It's not going anywhere, thank God. You know, it's here to stay, and I think it's, you know, we have to embrace it and, and accept it. And I'd love, personally, like, you know, when it becomes not even a part of the conversation. Yes, you don't have to go endless. to a movie. You don't have to say, oh, you see that this bit? This is a speech, yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> is a speech. <laughs> that, yeah. 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 So, did you well, go, now we're good. have a meeting of the minds to make... We met up again. And, no, uh, we just got our penises together. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so, no, we... Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? It's about normalising it. Correct. It's about normalising that kind of Correct. stuff between two friends. Hey, the Greeks started it. Yeah. Okay? The Greeks started it, and yeah. now they're like, no, we know we did it. Yeah. Um, you know, they're, like, they're like, oh, Zeus. two best friends get to just, go, just like, just hang out and just do, do whatever they want. It's not gay. Um, but it's not it gay was, if you're best friends. You know, um, so. In this day and age, it's a really beautiful story. And I agree, a, and I loved how gently inclusive the entire storyline was, without yeah. giving anything yeah. away. <laughs> and I thought it was interesting that I noticed that, because I'm of a certain generation, and my son didn't notice. It was just really... Hey, that's cool. Which is that's so cool. where we want to be. Exactly. Where nobody notices, and exactly. it's not a talking point. Exactly, and it's just I love that. Yeah. Kiss. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Yep. Oh, wow! That was... Yeah. I mean, it was... Yeah. <laughs> wow! That was fantastic! I'm really proud of the fact that we made a film that is uplifting and empowering yeah. for, you know, on many fronts for, like, women and for the queer community as well. Mm. It's, like, it's kind of making people feel seen. And to do it with a massive mainstream movie where more, more audiences than anywhere else are going to mm -hmm. see this than a small, tiny film about the queer community, mm. you know, this helps to normalise it and to, you know, to make mm. it feel like it's just, you know, it's just part of us and who we are. Mm -hmm. And that's really it's awesome. Been, what, one of Tiger's many, many tricks and talents is to, and even the smaller films he's done, largely entertaining and funny but underneath it whether you're aware of it or not there is a deep message and a beautiful message and and one of inclusion and celebration on on every level um and and i think it's wonderful and i feel very thankful to be a part of it but it's it's uh so it's all him, <laughs> you guys are doing that i'm getting that wrap it up <laughs> That that? Oh, we're not sure, but there's a lot of fingering going on. Oh, what? Whoa! Oh, just oh, You took it there, Kate. A lot of people are, oh, it's a comedy about pirates. It's actually a love story between two guys who happen to be on a boat. And um, I'm really proud of that. One of the things that I think is really special about the show is that when it comes to the gay content, we don't, none of the characters, like, make a big deal out of it and we're not mm -hmm. trying to bash it over anyone's head we're not trying to like make a statement there's no like time when anyone monologues about you know what it's like to be different and you know things which feel very obvious in a lot of contemporary shows where it's like oh you've got to have someone like do the speech in this show it it's just accepted and you know, we've created a world where to be gay or bi is just completely accepted and that's just the way it is. It doesn't matter if someone's a villain or a good guy. And, you know, it's just sort of brushed off and people just sort of mention it as if you were in high school. It's like, oh, so-and-so are hooking up. Well, didn't see that coming. 
but nothing about them, you know, being same sex. Yeah. And I think that's great. It normalizes it. It actually like creates a world where it's so normal. And it's sort of like it was like uh aspirational, I mm. think, you know, we could get mm. we could yeah. get to that person today where no one actually gives a shit. It's yeah. amazing. Blackbeard. Blackbeard and Korg would be a pretty cool team. I'd ship that. I like to go on like yeah, on social media and see all of the fan art and see all of this incredible uh soft gay porn that's been created around our characters and stuff and i just really get off on that oh, you want to smash my eggplant i was definitely smash your eggplant all right nice aubergine <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, good job in fact yeah when you think about it the pirates aren't really pirates this is the cool thing about the show it's about pirates but it's not really about pirates is it it's a love story about two guys who happen to be on boats. It's something really, it's really, it's really interesting about the show is that basically everyone is on the gay spectrum in the show, but no one ever talks about it. And no character ever says, Oh, these two are hooking up. Like they're, they're talking about it as if it's high school. It's like, Oh, these two are, well, but no one ever says you're gay. It's just accepted. In this world of pirates in this world of like you know in the 1700s we're just assuming it's all cool everyone <laughs> just does it and it's really nice to be involved you know for me to be able to kind of participate in something where we don't have to label anything or like talk about it or like say this is the gay pirate show it's just a thing where it's just it's it, it just happens on the side I'm like a special little sweet little thing that you find in the forest here what's this it's like a magical little curiosity so i don't go on on one of these porn sites i go and watch axel rose <laughs> in the paradise city music <laughs> <laughs> like there's like, these like onset crushes that you have you're like oh my god you are just gorgeous <laughs> and then some like, people take their mask off you're like well Oh, <laughs> well, like some big, like some big, like silver, like twisty mustache just pops out. And you're like, what? That was under there the whole time. <laughs> I mean, I've said this a lot, but it'd be wonderful to one day get to a place where we don't. It doesn't have to be a talking point, you know. And like, I don't mind talking about it. But the idea that to go and watch a movie and that's your big problem is that's like crazy. You know, you never hear people go like, oh, did you see that movie where that man and that woman kissed? So, you know, it's like, if we can just let that go, love is love, you know, and if we can normalize it, then we're moving towards a good space. And, you know, in studios, make these small, you know, tiny little steps towards that, you know, just like having the same sex relationship. It's just steps towards normalizing it. And I think that, you know, you can't ask for more than that. Do one more, huh? Do one, one more. more. All right, you want it like this? Yeah, just like that. Yes, like that? Yeah. I'll wash it from here. Ready? Just the tip. Okay. Oh. But also, what I've discovered about humans is that from here to here, every person is beautiful. <laughs> from here to here, it's a mixed bag. <laughs> it's like, I think, I think from the eyes down, that's our kryptonite. That's like the sexual kryptonite. Like there's no, it's like you get some of the mask and over a few weeks you fall in love, you form these crushes on people. You're like, God, good God, your eyes would fall into those eyes. And then like the few days on set that they say, okay, you know what? Today, like, you know, the, the cases are low in, 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 in the country. So we're all allowed to take off our masks. And you'd, people would take these masks off and they'd be like, <laughs> Like, good God, put that back on for some like the, the camera operator would you know take it off and a big barista twisty mustache would fly out and it was just like just just people are odd. People look weird. And um <laughs> but only the eyes are beautiful. Like a you know, a love story between two male pirates and also a comedy and like treated in such a way that it's like a workplace comedy and uh, everything that goes with that. And also Another really important part of it for me was just the fact that it was giving a voice to these characters who, you know, are well uh, deep in the LGBTQ plus community and it gave a voice and it made a lot of people in the prison community feel seen and heard. And, um,
you know, so it was really lovely to do something that was fun and silly. It's about pirates, but also it was um, really about representation as well. Just one more quick question from a, another journalist uh, asking about King Valkyrie, played by Tessa Thompson. Yeah. She's definitely a queer character in the MCU, but it's not overstated. It's not her raison d'etre. Do you think that that's just the wave of the future in film and that's the way we should be portraying? I hope it is. I hope it is, um, hope it is uh, the way of the future because the best way to deal with the stuff is, you know, I'm sick of seeing films where someone, hey, can I, can I, can I, can I? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sick. Of, got my kids. We're there. almost done. One minute. <laughs> um, I'm sick of seeing films where that has to be like a big, long monologue about like what it's like to be different. You know, it's like feels like very preachy. I understand why we have to have it, but you know, the big hope is to get to a place where it's just accepted and normalized. And I think, yeah, you know, how it's dealt with in this film, you know, it's very small part of this film, you know, but I think it's meaningful enough in a giant Marvel film that. You know, for people to feel seen or that it's um, it's just accepted. You know, it's like in the it's. I think this is the idea that you know that that no one bats an eyelid mm. around the stuff in these movies where they're just like, uh huh, yeah. Can we just? I know you're gay. Can we actually just get to the main issue here? We've got to rescue these kids. You know that that stuff there that, that mm. makes me really happy. That it's not. No one even cares. Um, you know, I think hopefully we'll get to that that point where, you know, it doesn't even. Not, I'm very happy talking about it, but mm. you know, where it's like, you know, it's not a talking point in any sense.